Today is the day graduating with my associates in applied science and uh, hopefully get some good footage of it. I won't be running the camera, so I'll be trusting Stephanie and probably my son Nicholas to run the camera. So cross our fingers that they actually get some good footage. <laughs> Alright guys, see you there.
friends, and then I looked up, and the audience and saw his wife and some other, other friends crying. So therefore, I started to cry, and I cried my eyelashes off. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows that, uh, know that I am a uh, classroom teacher, and I always have to say good afternoon, and I expect everyone to reply. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. It's raining out, but it certainly is a lot of sunshine in here. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of my community college, congratulations to the class of 2014. Would the trustees please stand while I'm reading? Education opens the door to a world of exciting opportunities. As you celebrate, you remember to draw upon the lessons you have learned and the guidance and wisdom that your family has offered. At this time, I'd like all graduates to stand and applaud your family, friends, significant others that supported you. Please stand. Or that the water is clean enough. The water is clean enough to drink and the air is clean enough to breathe by ourselves. You can't just build the, the road in front of your house. It's got to connect to somebody and someplace else. And I don't think we each want to divide up our prison population and put a little prison in our backyard. And we can't keep our country safe from attack by ourselves. We do it together. We also pool hard-earned dollars through this thing called taxes to fund things like basic research to find cures for Alzheimer's, juvenile diabetes and cancer, and so much more. And we invest in you, in our future, with really special places like my community college and great universities like Ferris and neighborhood schools so that everybody's got a fair, fair shot to get ahead. And our country can be the best it can be when we do that. Institutions like Mock Community College are the perfect example of why we band together and decide to create opportunities for everybody to work hard and achieve great things. You know, I grew up in Clare, not too far from here. I worked hard. I graduated first in my class of 93. But my dad was sick when I was in high school. And we didn't have any money. And I would never have had a chance to go to college 
if citizens in Michigan, through our government, have not created loans and scholarships for kids like me. People I didn't even know decided that a red-headed, freckled-faced girl from Claire deserved a fair shot to work hard and to get a college education. That's the idea our country was built on. That's the greatness of our country. We are strongest when everybody has a fair shot to get ahead. But that great American idea and our great middle class is threatened right now. That's why we need you. If decisions in business and government and community are going to make sense, everybody's got to be involved, not just a few people. Everybody needs to be engaged and participate in the world around them. Charles Stuart Mond, a pioneer of the auto industry, you know, a great philanthropist, and of course the namesake of this institution once said, it seems to me that every person always is in a kind of an informal relationship, a partnership with his community. His own success is dependent in part on that community. And the community, after all, is the sum total of the individuals who make it up. So that's where all of you come in. When I was growing up again in Clear, I remember so many times when I would just complain about something I didn't like. Or I thought something should be done differently. And my mom would irritate me because she would say, well, what do you think you should do to fix it? Well, I didn't want to fix it. I just wanted to complain about it. But my mom was right. I had a responsibility not to, to just complain but to get involved and to try to make things better. In addition to participating in the democratic process, we need you in so many ways. Ways that you touch your friends and family and strangers every day. You know, there's a wonderful group that I work with called Give an Hour that asks mental health professionals to each give one hour a week to help our brave veterans who are coming home and need support. We need you to volunteer an hour a week to mentor a young person. Or deliver a hot meal to a senior that doesn't have family close by. We need you to spend a weekend with Habitat for Humanity or do a walk to benefit a charity that you think is important. All of our individual actions, even the smallest gestures of kindness, add up to big things mm -hmm. and big successes. Just keep when we come her. together, I know, because I've seen it, I've been involved in it, we can solve problems. When we work together, we enrich our whole lives and improve our neighborhood, okay. the school, our state, the country. So, now today, your own hard work has given you the choice to decide what your life is going to be like going forward from this moment. What kind of citizen will you be, as well as family member, and friend, and employee, employer? What comes next? You know, I wouldn't be doing my job as your senator if I didn't tell you we want you to stay in Michigan and help us continue to move forward and make our state, this city, strong. The future has not yet been written. You will have a say in that if you participate. So I encourage you to make your voice heard, to help us create a better future. The power is in your hands for your children and the children you don't even know. You're receiving the title of graduate today. Use it wisely. Congratulations. We are so proud of you and we expect very great things. Thank you. Associate in Science, Associate in Fine Arts, Associate of Applied Science, Associate in General Studies, or a Certificate of Achievement. On behalf of the faculty, I would like to recommend these candidates for the conferring of the Associate Degrees and Certificates of Achievement.
Unfortunately, my goofy camera guy missed the most important part. That's where I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> they did a good ceremony. They got us all at once, went from right to left, and that represented us graduating. So, for the last time for a little while, you see me in a get up like this until I go to get my uh, bachelor's and master's and so on. I do plan on further my education, um, of course, after I gain employment. But that's what's going on today, so have a great one. Bye.